are listening to the Chomp Cast, the official podcast of Sword Chomp. And remember, you can always go to swordchomp.com where you can access the many places our podcast is available for download. But if you're listening to the show right now, that means you found us. So welcome to the madness that is the Chomp Cast. And also remember, if you want to support us on Patreon, you can now at www.patreon.com slash swordchomp. Look for our special VIP tier. Summer is here in full swing this week, especially on the Chomp Cast, as we begin our summer of guests. Um, as we have the creator of the Sword Chomp logo, designer, artist, and friend Jason Roberts will be joining us uh, here shortly um, to discuss all sorts of glorious topics. Uh, and so it's going to be a great show, including bold E3 predictions and hopes. Um, we have poll results from the at Sword Chomp Instagram page for various polls we run every Tuesday, like this week's the new Pokemon game for the Switch. We're going to talk about that. The new Pokeball controller for that game. Our sexy ass logo, which is appropriate for this show, and our special guest, Far Cry 5 co op, Twitch possibilities. Um, we have some interesting tongue action in our bio break, our science portion of the show. If we have time, we're going to get to a little bit of Detroit Become Human first impressions, um, if time permits there. So that should be really interesting. Uh, the topic of the show this week is pets or animal companions in video games. Some of our favorite examples, um, moral dilemmas about raising a creature and sending it out to battle, things like that. It's going to be a pretty fun uh, topic in general, one that I'm pretty passionate about. And of course, you know, as I mentioned before, it's it's pre E three week, so we ha- we have those E three predictions or discussions. Uh, this is our jam packed pre E three show. As E three, we're recording this early on a Saturday morning, so E three is actually gonna be starting today. I think EA has its first press conference, so next week we'll have all sorts of stuff to report back on. Um, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a great show. But let's get to some intros, including our special guest today, our first guest host in the summer of guests. Here at Sword Chomp, our good friend Jason Roberts, designer of the Sword Chomp logos, the Dagger Tooth. Um, his art is the face of our growing world of content. Um, how have you been, Jason? Long time no talk. Yeah, I've been pretty good. Um, yeah, it's been been quite a while. Uh, glad to be back. Um, yeah, yeah, been good. Been good. Do you like that? Your your art is the face. You are the face of Sword Chomp, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, as long as you guys don't do anything like seriously controversial and piss the world off, then uh, then yeah, that's cool. I'm I'm happy to be the face of Sword Chomp. <laughs> <laughs> I can't promise that. I can tell you this: you're the face, and um, I'm definitely the ass of Sword Chomp. So that's <laughs> we'll, we'll yeah. You said that. you said that. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm glad you're here. Actually, in honor of you being here, is one of the polls I ran this week. Um, not even like an arrogant thing either. Like I'm always so happy about our logo. Every time I look at it, rocking the special sword chomp t-shirt today with your logo on it. But um, yeah, the, one of the polls I ran this week in your honor was uh, just asking people if we have the coolest logo in the game. Do we have the sexiest logo in the game? Uh, and it came back like over 70% of people said, yeah, which is pretty cool of all the logos out there, Jason, in the gaming world. And a lot of our fans are subscribers to many of those other people. They think our logo is the coolest. No, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, I was, I, I, I was pleased. You sent me the the little screenshot of that. So yeah, no, it was. Um, it's always one of those weird things because obviously, you know, doing creative work and stuff, you, you kind of quite isolated sometimes. I mean, especially as you know, I'm a freelancer, so, um, mm, yeah. just doing this stuff and you know, sending it to clients, and you don't know sometimes if you guys are just being like super polite and just tell me, yeah, yeah, it looks great. And but no, it's it's cool when <laughs> when people kind of outside of that, you know um yeah yeah actually you like this stuff reaction. yeah it's good yeah it's like a genuine reaction and, and that's something i hear a lot a lot of personal messages about it it's it's just a cool thing of course you know it could have came back you know five percent yes 95 percent no but you know i was confident i believed in the logo so um <laughs> how could you not like it it's great but uh yeah i'm, I'm glad you're here um we it's we, it was definitely we, we didn't have any problems switching our schedules around uh to for you to be here so um, although we'll, we're going to give Shay some shit when he does show up because, you know, yeah. Shay's late again. Every time you're here, Jason, is something something about it. So um, 
When yeah, she maybe does. he's afraid of me. He's <laughs> he gets too excited. Yeah, he gets the nerves. You know, he's a he's a big fan. Yeah. So. Um, anyways, glad he makes you're an here yeah. <laughs> to talk all sorts of cool stuff with us. Um, I want to introduce, of course, the the your the co-host you know and love and probably are familiar with as well. Up first, uh, the Filipino Johnny Depp from Texas, uh, of course. Uh, Fish is here, Anthony Fisher. And Fish, I was actually thinking about this, man. Mm -hmm. How weird this is. Can you imagine? So, uh, as you guys know, I'm going to a wedding here in a little bit. I was telling you guys about this beforehand. Um, And I was thinking about this because this couple, they're, you know, a pretty bold couple. I was learning a little bit about them. They're kind of a distant uh, friend of my fiance. So that's why I don't really know them that well. Um, They're having a huge wedding, right, Fish? And they're, one of the things they're doing, they're very religious. So they're practicing. Um, they're very upfront about their abstinence. So like their wedding night will actually be the first time that they're able to make love with each other. Wow. Which that's a, that's a bold move right there. Um, regardless of religion, I mean, to, uh, to, to eat the line, I started thinking about like how that just wouldn't work for us fish, because if a, a woman waited their whole life, um, for that special moment and they get married Right. And you're you're in the room. You had this great, beautiful day, the festivities, the family, the anticipation, doing it the right way. And then you slip down your pants, and they find out they've been waiting forever for that little micro penis of yours. I mean, like, can, can you imagine the disappointment that's just just oh, yeah. rolling across their face? I'd imagine they'd at least be able to see each other's goods, unless. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know they, they they can at least it's like shopping in a store. They can pick out and see. Oh, oh, that that looks a little bruised and tiny. I don't, not ripe, is it? <laughs> There's still <laughs> growing going on. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's honestly, you're right though. I was telling her, that. I was like, you know what? They're saying that to people, but I bet I bet they're sneaking the goods in. I bet they're doing something. Like you have to be pretty pretty brave in today's world to uh, to hold off. But hey. We're, Props to you. If you can mm-hmm. do it, if that's something you believe in, this is not a judgment. It's just sort of like a holy shit. That's, that, that takes some, some bravery to do, you know? Right, um, right. Just wouldn't work for us, Fish. That's what I thought the whole time. Me and Fish, you know, all we have is disappointment down there. You need to try our goods before you sign up <laughs> for that long-term deal. You, know, <laughs> you don't want to walk yourself into that. Um, yeah. Sounds like you agree. Yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, glad you're here, Fish. And uh, excited to get some E three predictions with you, among other things. Um, did you get chan- Did you get Detroit yet, or no? I did. Yeah, okay. I picked it up okay. last night and put in about three hours into it. Okay. Okay. Cool. We can get some first impressions there. Very nice. Um, Josh is here, of course, uh, the one and only from Michigan. Um, so Josh, uh, I should say Joshua Fowler. For some reason, I always leave off your last name. Uh, tr- kind of trying to keep you anonymous. It's, you know. Yeah. But thank you. That's, that's thoughtful of you. Yeah. Um, we're talking about pets today, Josh, and we always refer to you as the master. So in many ways, we are, we are all your pets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although, I mean, I've been thinking lately, three pets is a lot of pets. I mean, I don't want people to think I'm weird. I may have to put one of you down. I... <laughs> oh. God damn it. I uh, hope it's not me. Well, yeah. Shay's late. Can we put him down? Because I feel like <laughs> I feel like I've earned it though. <laughs> uh, what what do you always call that? Because I have like six pets in real life. What do you call that? A mena- what do you call menagerie? Is that what it's called? Mm-hmm. Um Yeah. Look, Shay Shay just flung right himself right. I told you he was gonna just insert himself right in here. <laughs> uh, right in the intro too. Mm-hmm. Oh, now Shay's general amount of time. I've passed the mantle. That's a, that's a, I don't know if you know that story, um, Jason, but the inside joke for why I have that nickname is I had an interview with the composer of Tomb Raider, which I was really excited about. And he told me he was going to be there at um, a certain time GMT, which is, you know, what Greenwich, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, I believe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll let you think some- it's pronounced that way. It's, yeah. it's adorable. <laughs> it's MT. Mountain time, green, not yeah, GMT. Yeah, that, that green witch. Green witch. <laughs> what, is it, what is it actually pronounced? You can, you it's can mountain it, time. It's Greenwich. Greenwich, okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah don't, don't get me started on, on names in England, the place names, yeah. Oh, there, yeah, there are some, there's some classics. 
some classics. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, no, I was just going to say, so anyways, the short of it is, I, my mom had always, ref- I don't know if it was a joke or a family thing, but she'd always refer to it as General Mountain Time, or at least that's what I processed in my head, which is probably completely wrong. And me being like, oh, he's referring to my time to be polite, General Mountain Time, as in like general as in generic Mountain Time. So I thought he meant Mountain Time. I showed up at a completely wrong time, and he was a really nice guy, so I didn't end up botching the interview. We met again the next day, but I could have. And now they always make fun of me, and they call me General Mountain Time, which it works. So now I'm just the General <laughs> Mountain Time, you know. Yeah. Leading my, leading I know. My I, 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 did, I did try and figure out, because I, I obviously knew of Mountain Time. And then I just thought because you, I don't know, had some sort of like dictatorship kind of going on here and like yeah. some sort of military <laughs> kind of leader. Some sort of ego complex. That's where, yeah. I guess in some ways I am like, you know, a general as well. Um, so it works. You know, I'm leading my army off the, the edge of the cliff, so to speak. Um, you don't really want to get behind me in any <laughs> shape or fashion. But yeah, it, it works. It has a double meaning. So anyways, if you're listening to the show, that's the reason for that um, as well. Um, but yes, uh, so glad to have you here, Josh. I know Shay kind of slipped right in the intro there. Shay's here. He made it. How are you doing, Shay? I'm doing all right. It's uh, extremely hot in Japan today. Uh, summer has come. I'm pissing sweat right now. Mm. Mm, okay. Not, well, that's not, liter- nice. not literally, but uh, figuratively. It's, yeah, it's... I, How would you I, go I, about I checking that anyway? Um, you, what you do is you <laughs> urinate in a cup and then you drink it. Well, I mean, that's, this isn't Waterworld, Shay. You don't have to resort to that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this Anyways. isn't Man vs. Wild. <laughs> this is not Man. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Well, I'm glad you actually made it a good time, because I was, as much as I like to give you shit, I was hoping you were going to slip yourself in. I don't want you to miss all the exciting conversation. So uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to miss it either. I, sorry for being late, guys. Uh, I mixed up the times. It's my fault. Yeah, come on, Shay. I've made notes and everything. <laughs> you did. You made a really. From what I've heard, you've made Josh really good was... notes. So I'm excited. Well, yeah, some of them were, and then yeah, I'll I'll let you know later. Anyway, I, I ran into <laughs> okay. some problems with predictions. Um, you mm. J- yeah, probably made I... more notes than I did because I didn't make any notes at all today. Jo- jo- I wonder. Josh said that you were just afraid of the two beards. He said it was a two beard thing, and you just weren't ready for it. So. Can we put That's that fair. to rest? I mean, is there any truth to that at all? Are you are you picking up some of Fish's um, exactly? Are you are you picking up some of Fish's pognopho- How do you pronounce that? Pognophobia? Is that what it is? Pognophobia. Pognophobia. All right. I think it's I think it's some of <laughs> Fish's beard fear is transferring over to you. Um, no, Josh was just giving you shit before you came on the on the show. Shay, he was saying that you didn't want to be here because there was two beards. So. Well, it's a little known fact that when you uh, combine beard power. That there's so much man in a room that fish literally morphs into a woman. So <laughs> I, I didn't want I didn't want to see the transformation yeah. of that occur. It's true. Wait, well, it's oh, an e- okay. That's how karma works. It's yeah. It's like yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's weird watching it happen yeah. in real time. Just it, it is. It's weird. Like he's already lost the goatee, and <laughs> and I see a little cleavage there. So. Um, yeah, it's like an, it's like an equalizer. If there's too much man, you have to get some of that estrogen, t- testosterone, level it out, kind of a thing. So it's true, and it makes so much more sense that he podcasts and uh, where he podcasts, it, it fits mm-hmm. as he undergoes the transformation. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In his daughter's pink room. Yes, your eyelashes say. are. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna rat him out like that because I'm a good friend. Thank you, Josh. But, uh, you go right I ahead. We, I think we've mentioned that on the floor. I think his pink room has been mentioned at least at some point, but. Uh, I, I know, but like continually okay. bringing it up, I don't want to be that friend. Yeah. Well, I will be that friend. That's my job. I know. I have to be that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyways, glad you made it, Shay. And of course, um, I am Morgan Barnes here from Montana. Um. Actually, I was telling you, I was going to tell you this before the show, Jason. This isn't too bad. I have been waking up like at five or six every morning to. I mean, we were talking about fishing before the show. Um. Jason was telling us that his, his dad's really into fishing over there. Um. And uh, we were just having a little.